In singleton pregnancies, cell-free DNA analysis of maternal blood provides effective screening for trisomies 21, 18, and 13. In contrast to singleton pregnancies, data of cell-free DNA testing in twins is very limited. The aim of the present study was twofold. One, to report an updated experience on prospective first trimester screening for trisomies in twins by cell-free DNA testing. And two, to define the performance of the test by combining the results of the present study with those arising from systematic review of the literature. The data for the study was derived from prospective screening for trisomies 21, 18, and 13 in twin pregnancies at 10 to 14 weeks gestation. This data set was used to determine the performance of screening for the three trisomies. Search of the literature was carried out to identify all peer-reviewed publications on clinical validation or implementation of maternal cell-free DNA testing for trisomies 21, 18, and 13 in twin pregnancies. Meta-analysis was then performed using data from the present prospective study and data from the studies identified by the literature search. In the present study, among 997 twin pregnancies with the cell-free DNA results and known outcome, the test classified correctly 94% of cases of trisomy 21, 90% of cases of trisomy 18, 50% of cases of trisomy 13, and 99.4% of cases without any of the three trisomies. In the combined total of the present study and the seven studies identified by the literature search, there were 56 trisomy 21 and 3,718 non-trisomy 21 twin pregnancies. The pool-weighted detection rate was 98.2% at a false positive rate of 0.05%. In the combined total of 18 cases of trisomy 18 and 3,143 non-trisomy 18 pregnancies, the pool-weighted detection rate was 88.9% at a false positive rate of 0.03%. For trisomy 13, there were only three affected cases, and two of these were detected by the cell-free DNA test. Conclusions Performance of cell-free DNA testing for trisomies 21 in twin pregnancies is similar to that reported for singleton pregnancies and is superior to that of the first trimester combined test or second trimester biochemical testing. The number of cases of trisomies 18 and 13 is too small for accurate assessment of predictive performance of the cell-free DNA test.